other way to communicate with each other since unless you're an essential business, you can't really go into the office. So there's two ways to do this phone system. One would be as a full blown phone system, uh, of course, and you have physical hard phones, you can make calls through the computer, through the mobile app, or receive calls just like you can in the office. And the other version would be just for internal communication. So it's up to you how you want to do the system. Um, obviously, it's much better when you have it as just one platform, but you can keep what you have today and use this in addition to. So the first thing I want to do is basically share my screen with everybody and show you a quick PowerPoint presentation. Uh, and then after the presentation, what we're going to do is uh, a live demo of everything. Oh, if anybody has any questions, uh, I do have our lead engineer on the line. Uh, so go ahead and type in whatever information uh, or any questions you have. And Danny will go ahead and answer them as we go. Any sales questions, there are uh, things he can't answer. We can get to it at the end. Um, so let's go ahead and get this thing started. All right. All right. So ACC has been around for 40 years since 1979. Barry Hunt and Sue Hunt are the owners and still are today. Um, our top five voice engineers have over 80 years of experience, all of them with ACC Telecom. Uh, so that, I think that's mostly in part of why we've been around for so long is the abilities of our engineers. Uh, we do have a live local help desk support as well. And many of you know if you're already our customers for some of the older phone systems, you simply give us a call and we answer the phone. So it makes it drop down. I know, but is it still it's still on here. Talk. Yeah. We are also a Titanium 3CX partner. Titanium really means we uh, are one of the largest type of partners in the entire country. There's only 11 of us uh, in the whole country, and we are the only one in Maryland, Virginia, Delaware, and D.C. So if you want the best, you call us. Uh, we are local. We have warehouses from Delaware all the way down to North Carolina with our headquarters in Columbia, Maryland. But we do nationwide support. Uh, for example, we actually uh, have one customer called Berkshire Hathaway Home Services. I'm sure people are familiar. 87 locations across 2,500 extensions. The first installation is going in Kansas and then Texas. Uh, and we do the on-site installation there. Another one of our customers is National Spine and Pain Center with over 90 locations and over 1,700 users. Uh, we picked up 3CX about a couple years ago and it's really taken off. Uh, it was established in 2005, so they've been around for about 15 years. Uh, however, we've done it for about three and we absolutely love it. Um, the reason why we love it is you can put the system on anything you want. It can go in the cloud and the AWS or Azure. Uh, it can go on an on-premise virtual server. So something you already have. So there's no proprietary equipment required. Um, and you can even put it on a little server on site if you wish. They added 1.6 million new endpoints in 2019, which is more than the top three other competitors in the entire industry. So just to show you, I'm not sure if you've heard of the system or not, uh, but worldwide, it is the most popular out there. Uh, some of the other customers you see, uh, McDonald's, Pepsi, Remax, Mitsubishi, uh, some, some uh, air airlines and hotels. Harley Davidson, so big name Fortune 500 companies have invested in this solution. And the reason why they do is for the number two reason on this list, and that is the fact of unlimited extensions. There is no limit to the amount of extensions or people or users that can be on this phone system. Right now, they're giving away three years of this system for free because of the COVID-19. Um, now, of course, after three years, it is fairly inexpensive, and I'll show you that in the next slide. Uh, but the key here is this phone system is open standards, using open standard physical hardware phones if you want, and it's just software. So what that means is there's no proprietary equipment. 
that you have to buy. I know some of you have purchased, you know, Toshiba or Avaya phone systems in the past, and you have to buy the Avaya phones and you have to buy the Toshiba licenses and, and all that. But this system does away with all the licensing. Everything is included. There's all the advanced features of all the phone systems out today, and the upgrades also are free. The system's also fully customizable, which means if you have a CRM or some type of database that you want to integrate into the phone system for click to dial, journaling, uh, whatever applications you have. For example, we actually created a kiosk for a federal credit union out in Delaware where they have a kiosk where the instead of what people waiting in line, they step up to the kiosk. Uh, talk to somebody, uh, video chat them in the call center location, and then they can actually scan their license in and officially DocuSign documents right through the kiosk. So it's just as good as a real person, except for the fact that they don't want to staff those type of people in every single location. So this has really been beneficial to them all through the phone system and custom integration. <clears throat> So like I said before, uh, there's no cabinets, there's no hardware, there's nothing that you need to buy to make it grow. It comes whether you want five extensions or 5,000 extensions. It's the same uh, licensing, the same equipment, the same everything. So it really is for any size organization. The pricing is really based off of simultaneous calls. So right now, the standard all the way down to 1,000 simultaneous phone calls within the organization is free for three years. Uh, however, just to give you an example, a 100-employee company would need about 24, maybe 32 simultaneous phone calls. And you're talking you know, six to $900 per year. Uh, that would be the standard. And then, of course, the Pro has more features and the Enterprise is fully redundant. So based on your level, the cost really is effective on year four. So security is a really big thing today, uh, especially with the issues surrounding Zoom. Uh, you know, they're selling codes on dark web. There's for people doing Zoom bombs with inappropriate content for you know schools, and it's really not a good thing. And there's a lawsuit about sending your private information to Facebook without your consent. Uh, with 3CX, our web meeting, like we're doing here, is different. As you all saw, you just got a uh, email invite. You click on the link, it immediately opens up into a web RTC browser, which is fully HIPAA compliant, which is a compliancy through doctor's offices. Uh, that is really stringent and and hard to hard to get, but uh, this is this is a very secure product. Uh, it encrypts all your voice traffic right over the internet as well as the system automatically blacklists hackers trying to get into your phone into your phone system. The features we're going to talk about today, we're almost done the present uh, PowerPoint part, is we're going to do the three versions of the mobile client. We're going to talk about the video, web, and audio conferencing, which we're using right now, and I'll show you a little bit more details, as well as the chat, video, and talk via website, the, uh, the chat feature and file sharing just within the office, click to dial, and then, of course, the presence. Um, right here is a, a quick slide of the actual pictures of what the application looked like. The one on the far left is going to be the Android version. The one in between the two phones is the installed version that will go on a computer if you want. Uh, and the one on the right is the iPhone version. Uh, I actually have a, you know, a work phone and a personal phone. One's Android, one is uh, Apple, and I have this installed on both. Um, so you can really have it installed on every single device you have. The one on the right is the web client, and we're going to go through exactly what that is, but that can also be used to make phone calls as well. Uh, the contact center is, is also included with professional version. The one in the middle is what I'm talking about today, and that is the ability to chat through your website. So we can chat through the ability of having a little bubble at the bottom somebody brings up to have a conversation with uh, we can elevate that to a phone call or we can elevate that to video based on uh, the needs of the customer we can even use remote control purposes so we can take over your screen if you let us 
and we can make the changes necessary to maybe an on one site uh, server or whatever you have issues with. Uh, but using this from home, this can be done for uh, your teachers can use this for office hours to have students be able to talk, talk to them during certain times. Um, you can use this as, say, a broker. Uh, you would have a list of contacts on your website. You have your contacts with everybody that's in the organization. A lot of times you have a picture of them, their phone number and email. Well, we can take that a step further and you can click on the picture and open up a chat box straight to that broker's cell phone. Uh, just different ways you could possibly use this. And of course, the video web conferencing application, which we're gonna go through first. Uh, there is zero admin is what they call it. Uh, it's very easy for directors of IT and IT professionals to manage this phone system. Uh, we do all the heavy lifting. And then uh, on the day-to-day -day operations, we can have an IT person, an office manager, really anybody in the organization that just gets properly trained over like an hour or two to really do everything you can with the phone system. You do have full control. You own this phone system. It can be behind your firewall. It can be secure. Uh, it's not something you're leasing or renting from another organization where you're under their control. You own everything. So I know a lot of people like that. So if you have more, more questions or you want more information, we have a lot of videos. Uh, we have walkthrough guides, everything on our website, acctelecom.com. And uh, I'm going to put my phone number and information uh, on, the, on the web chat as well for everybody to have. If you have any more questions, you can email me or give me a call at any time. <clears throat> so we're going to go right into the web demo. So once you set up yourself up with this application, you get an email. That's the welcome email. Basically what it says is click on this to open your web client. And this right here is the actual web client itself. So that's what we're going to talk about. I have it saved under my favorites and I just immediately open it up. First thing we're going to do is the webinar. So here is what I'm actually seeing for everybody. I can turn my video on and off, turn the mic. I can record this, share my screen. Uh, I can share a PDF with everybody. We can do a whiteboard and I can even do a poll. So I can show people uh, have questions about what we just went over and they can have a couple seconds to answer it and everybody can see the results of the poll. All that would be embedded in here. So over here on the side, we can minimize it to make it big. Uh, the chat, we can see everybody that was uh, having a conversation here through this chat box. You can, of course, have like, agree, hands, different kind of reactions to what uh, people are saying, as well as your attendee list. Uh, I can turn on others' uh, microphones and videos if I wanted to as the webinar. And if I want to add somebody on the fly, I just simply click on that, type in their name and email, and I can add them. Uh, or I can give them a dial-in phone number, or even this URL here, I can just copy and paste that in email to anybody once you're already in it. So there's multiple levels of this type of webinar. Uh, this one's the webinar where I'm teaching and no one can really talk. The other one is a full collaborative experience, which is the web meeting. So with the standard edition right now, it's about 25 users can all be on one web meeting or conference. Uh, they are talking about upgrading that to, I believe, 100, uh, up to 500 on one uh, actual webinar or web meeting. Uh, but the advantage of a web meeting is I can have as many people as I need to on one call. Everybody can talk. Everybody can share. Everybody can upload documents. Uh, right here is the demo system for ACC. As you can see, uh, Raheen's on the phone right now talking with this phone number. Uh, it is a rights-based type of system, so I don't necessarily have to see if if the, me being the employee doesn't have the right to see who's who they're talking to at any given time, then it's rights-based. They won't have to see that. Um, but right here, you can see if I want to talk to somebody, I simply click on this to give them a call. Now, I'm using this as the browser extension. What that means is I'm able to make phone calls right from my computer. If I had a hard phone, I'm in the office, I can set it up like this, or I can just make all my calls with the smartphone, which I'll show you soon. 
But the nice thing about the browser extension is it does support video. So if I wanted to video chat anybody in the organization, for example, if everybody has this application, it doesn't have to be up. It can be minimized. It doesn't have to be you know, up on the screen all the time. There is a Chrome plugin that allows you to not have to worry about that. Uh, but if I want to video chat somebody, I simply click on video and I'm video chatting Barry Hunt um, right through his computer. So that's nice to be able to do that. Of course, I can call them. And then also you can upload your contacts. And if you put typed in their email address, I can web meeting any of my contacts that is outside of the phone system. So with Michael, if I went ahead and clicked on this web meeting, uh, I would go to a webinar and he would immediately get an email, able to click on the link, and then we're joining together in, in a webinar. I can then invite other people in and I can have everybody together on one call, collaborating, uh, collaborating and, and doing everything like that. Um, as you see some of the colors here, uh, we have yellow, meaning somebody is on the phone. Uh, right here is called presence. So with presence, I can choose my status. So if I am do not disturb, everybody can see that it's red. What I'm doing is able to be changing that. So I can change exactly what I want to say here, and that's what everybody sees. Now with those are also done customized what happens to that? So if somebody calls me and I'm in a do not disturb because I'm doing something, what happens with that call? Well, basically within my forwarding, I can say my do not disturb. Right now, anybody that calls me internally, it will ring busy. But if I have a customer call me, it's going to go ahead and get forwarded immediately over to uh, Barry Hunt. So I can change this anytime I want. Now, this can also be changed for example, if you go on a business trip, you forget to do it from your computer, that's fine. You can do it right from your mobile app. Not an issue at all. Now, when we get into the next one is the chat. So, of course, we all have the ability here to chat with each other. So, I can say, hey, John, how you doing? And we can chat back and forth without a problem. I can upload a document. We can share screens. Uh, if I want to add somebody new, say I want to do Kristen and I want to add Jamie to one conference and I hit next, I can call this the hunts and then I can send them a group chat. Um, another great thing about the chat feature is I also have a link on my email that says click here to video chat me now. When somebody clicks on that link from my email, I get a message saying somebody's waiting a meeting. It's a notification right on my smartphone or through my computer. I can just click on this and immediately video chat somebody. Uh, this does not have to be through the phone system. This can be done from anybody on the outside. <clears throat> They're actually taking this to the next level where in the search box, I can type in people's so, uh, cell phone numbers and send chats to the actual phone number of people's cell phones. So SMS chatting is coming out in probably the next month or two, uh, but it's definitely will be there very soon. Um, next thing I wanted to show you was just how to actually set up a web conference. You just click on schedule conference. Here we see the live webinar right here that I have and people that are in and out of the meeting. Uh, if I want to create a new one, I just hit new conference, click video, I'll pick it later, or I can do audio, uh, do it now or later, the date and time, subject notes, type of meeting, like I said, full collaboration or webinar, and then how I want to send that out. A lot of times people use iCal because it creates a calendar invite and I use Outlook. And I can just forward that to everybody I want to join the meeting. Everybody gets a link and they click on it and join in. So it makes it real easy um, to do webinars. It, it, and it's very secure as well. So um, the next to last thing I want to show you is the mobile app. So make sure everybody can still see my screen. Yep. This is the mobile app. So... Let's get this right. All right, so this is my iPhone. So with my iPhone, I'm able to do a couple of things. And this is how I 
communicate when I'm working from home or on the road on a regular basis. Um, one thing is if I have any scheduled web webinars, I can quickly go into my calendar from Outlook, click on the webinar, and just go ahead and actually join the meeting right through here. So it's really that easy. I would just click on the link. It opens up the web meeting app automatically. And then I'm in the webinar that we're doing right here. So it really makes it easy to join webinars right from the screen. All right. Of course, I joined my own webinar. So now it's going to act crazy. There we go. All right. <laughs> um, now, the 3CX, this is the actual app you use on your smartphone. So within this, I can see just like on the screen I showed you who's on the phone and who's not. Simply by hitting one button, I can extension dial employees in the company. Uh, I can see who's on the phone and who's not with the colors. If I want to maybe send Danny an uh, email, send him a chat, I can do all that right through this application here. So this is all presence information and everybody in the phone system, what everybody's doing. Uh, my contacts would be the same contacts I have on the phone system, as well as my personal contacts on my cell phone. It is labeled because the little Apple means that it's from a personal contact and then the extension here. So as you go through, you can see it's a 3CX versus uh, where you see Danny Jaskowski, that is his, uh, that's on the phone system. So they're all labeled based on what happens. Now, when a phone call comes in, and if it, they dialed my cell phone directly, I will see that it's somebody calling my cell phone directly versus the 3CX phone system. So it's very easy to answer the call according to the number you see. You also see the name of the person calling you. So even though they're calling the phone system, the phone system will see that and present the name of the person to you. Uh, when you make a phone call on the phone system, so you simply can just dial a number, or if I wanted to dial someone's extension, I can just hit Kristen. Now, as you can see, the buttons here change according to what I can do with the phone call. So if Kristen were to pick up, I can put the call on hold if another call comes in. I can transfer the call. Uh, I can uh, attended transfer, so I can announce who it is first before I send her the call. I can record this call. Uh, the system is capable of recording all calls if you want. Uh, specifically, we have it set up that internal calls are set up to record, but uh, sm smartphone or as you have the option, or internal calls, you have the option. I can mute and conference. This audio conference button is great because you can have unlimited amount of people on one conference call. So I'll go ahead and end that. I do have a screen where I can see all my voicemails all listed to simply listen to them. Uh, all my conferences, so the, the work from home and different you know uh, webinars I had set up for to kind of test everything out. Um, I can set my presence just by clicking the upper right, this little red button here. I can choose to be available now or go back to do not disturb. And everything I do on here also reflects it on the computer. I can have this on my smartphone here, on my uh, tablet at home, on my computer. I can have a desk phone if, if I want, an, an IP desk phone. It doesn't matter. All of them are synced to one extension. So no matter where I am and how I want to work, uh, I can. Um, the chat again, right in here, I can go ahead and have a chat with people. Everything that I do with this chat is also done through the computer. So everything I text here and pictures or whatever is done right through the application as well. So again, everything is synced together mm -hmm. as you quickly responds. So that's the smartphone app. Uh, when, when you get the welcome email, you simply click on the, it has a QR code. You just scan the QR code with the phone itself and you have this on your phone. So there's not a lot of installation. It's just the main installation is just setting up. So the last piece I want to talk to you is the website chat. Uh, and then, so that's with the pro. So there, that is the professional edition, but let me show you what it can do. If you go to the website, we have a great website. We have the teleworking. We just have a brand new uh, you know, tab up here. Talk about teleworking, everything we're talking about here today. But say if I'm reading this and I'm like, you know, what the heck is CRM integration? So we've got this little bubble down here and click on it. 
And I'll say, okay, I'll put my name in, put my email, and let's start a chat. So within this, I can start a chat. Now this is going to our engineers at ACC Telecom, and now we're in a full conversation uh, with the employees here at ACC Telecom. So this can be done on different levels based on Q. Uh, I can, Danny can, if he wants, he can actually send me a, a link to click on to speak to him, like a, a phone call. And then we can also elevate it to video. So he can send me a link. Sure. And how we can do a video chat right through my computer. And again, you know, this is me coming in as not necessarily someone on the phone system or someone's extension, but just like, an, like a customer of yours, able to have full conversations as part of this phone system. There's no extra charge to what we're trying to do here. There's nothing uh, extra you gotta pay per month or anything like that. This is all built into the phone system. Uh, and then Danny can even take it to the remote control phase and be able to control with, with my permission, my screen to be able to make changes. Uh, like I was saying before, this can be used in a lot of different ways. You can have it uh, a sales, you can have service, uh, you can have like brokers can use it, uh, schools can use it for uh, have their website hours right through here, and then they can chat with their students, and then they can turn it on and off so they can they can have hours for certain times, and uh, they can't just reach them all the time. Um, but you know. I that is about it. Um, you know, I, I really hope everybody got something out of this webinar. I want to try to keep it to 30 minutes. Uh, I really just wanted to say that the 3CX does allow you to do work from home. And this, this crisis, everybody's in. We got to stay from home or work from home. It's not easy. It's difficult. You know, a lot of depression and things like that people get into these days. Uh, and we want to try to make it so we don't know how long this is going to go on and this type of, of solution price wise is not going to be this low for a long time so I, I want people to understand that the technology is available that just going into the office is kind of unnecessary today we don't need to go into the office every day to work we can still see the employees in the company we can talk to them they can be in the comfort of their house they will work longer hours because they wake up and they get on their computer they don't have to get a shower or put makeup on uh, you know, uh, drink the coffee, eat breakfast, do all this different stuff you have to do before you go in the office, then drive and sit in traffic. That's all gone. You just get up, go to your desk, and then you're able to start communicating with everybody. Uh, the ability to talk to customers the same way that you uh, talk to your people within the office is really nice to show people the technology, the the investment you've made into, uh, you know, working from home and understanding that the world is different now. And, and we, we hope that things are going to go back to normal. I mean, everybody hopes things go back to normal, but it also might be a new normal. And if that's the case, uh, this type of technology is not only a nice to have, and it's really not a nice to have anymore. It's really the way that we have to use this, that we have to stay in business is using this technology. So I wanted to thank everybody for their time today. And uh, I'll now open it up for questions. If anybody has any questions, please uh, let me know. Thank you.